What's up, Guan peeps? What's up, Guan? It's the 4th of March. I've just come back from shopping because my girlfriends have actually challenged me to a weight loss challenge. And I'm taking them up on it. So, I've done a shopping haul to do some food prep. And the reason why I'm doing a food prep is because there's two reasons, actually. The first reason is... It's because I do Airbnb. I don't want my guests watching me cooking. <laughs> That's the first reason. So I used to food prep quite a lot. The second reason is, is that if I food prep all my dishes for the whole week, then um, I don't have to think about what I'm eating and therefore I won't start thinking about takeaways, I won't start thinking about eating crap. So, I'm going to do a haul for you and this is all this haul is to do with my food prep. So, um, check it out peeps. Okay, what's up going peeps? So, this is quite a big haul and I'm really surprised at how much it costs. So I'm going to tell you how much it costs in the end. And like I said previously, the reason why I'm doing this is because I need to food prep. So I've just got the ingredients that I need, well most of the ingredients that I need, some of them I did add in there and I shouldn't have done, but I had a list. I did have a list, <laughs> but I added a few things in because I thought it was worth it, but yeah. So we'll start with the frozen stuff, sweet corn, 79 pence, I think this was like 59 pence, and the more expensive sweet potato fries. Oh no, these are carrot fries, I thought I picked up sweet potato fries, these are carrot fries. But I'm not sure how much that is. I'll have to check my list. But then we move on to, um, I've got some lemon and lime there. This was like 59 pence. This is basil. I've got some cherry tomatoes. I've got some mini um, wraps because I'm going to make, um, as part of my food, food prep, I'm going to make three things or four things maybe. So one will be um, a tofu broccoli stir fry with rice the second will be chickpea coconut curry um, and that's going to have a quinoa salad on the side with it and I'm thinking about doing some roast sweet potatoes so all of this will do all that and it will last probably more than a week I'll have to put some of these containers in the freezer so that when I get peckish and I can't be bothered I can actually do that but yeah so moving on there's my broccoli it was something silly like 59 pence for that. That is for my guests because I do Airbnb and that is also for my guests. And I wouldn't be eating that because A, it's honey and B, I don't like it anyway. So that's the honey like cornflakes. Um, I've got some avocado because I might make some guac, guacamole. That's for my chickpea curry. Also my chickpea curry and um, some roasted sweet potato. Granola, which serves twofold, it is actually vegan. And I took some of this to Jamaica with me actually, and it was really good, it was a lifesaver. But also, second, secondary, yeah, so I forgot what I was going to say there, peeps. But yeah, got some granola because breakfast, or well, once or twice a week, I don't eat too much of it because it's got oats in that one, and I have a problem with gluten sometimes. But what was surprising to me was they're doing quinoa now white quinoa and I also got the tricolor quinoa so I'll be making mixing up some stuff with that so I'm going to make some quinoa salad with that black bean and maybe avocado quinoa salad which I'll put with my coconut curry so that'd be a really hearty meal but the second thing that really shocked me was chia seeds when did they start doing chia seeds? Now I knew this is not actually part of my haul. I've been getting this for months. I put it in my smoothies. But I went there today and I was really shocked that they did chia seeds. So that'll be part of my breakfast or part of my breakfast mix up. So I'm going to do a quinoa mix up with um, chia seeds. But yeah, I was really surprised about that. I also got this salad dressing. 
what you could just fling on a salad or whatever you want to. But also, there's a little tip. If you can't get all the lemons, these are good to have in your pantry because it's lemon juice, it's just concentrated lemon juice and nothing else. And I use it in the morning to make lemon water, but I also use it in my recipes when um, I've run out of lemons or I've forgotten all about buying lemons. So yeah, I also got this because I couldn't bother to make a smoothie this morning, but I knew they did this. So I got this and um, I think that was about £1.29. And I got some almond milk because obviously I need almond milk for my cereal. And I'm going to make a, um, a quinoa breakfast cereal as well. This is peanut butter. I'm going to add to one of my dishes, chickpeas. I've got, I couldn't find ginger and I'm surprised I didn't get any ginger there because I usually get my ginger from there, from Aldi, but they didn't have any. So I've got some ground ginger instead and I've got some cumin. So yeah, that's another tin of sweet corn. I don't know why I bought that. I was meant to put it back. I've also got some corn flour, or I suppose Americans call it cornstarch, don't they? But um, that's to thicken up some dishes sometimes. That helps. But yeah, I was really shocked when I got to the till because I was expecting to spend about 50 quid. And I thought, damn. But it actually came to, drum roll please, <laughs> £34 and um, 84 pence. Yeah, and that's the bill. So, yeah, honey lot corn flakes. It was ridiculously cheap. For me, I think it's cheap because I'm usually doing home shopping at Tesco's and whatever. So I'm gonna have to make the effort to walk down there and walk up there and walk back down there. See, look, broccoli 45p. Wrapper at home, color um, avocados 169. That's not so much of a deal, but large onions, red. Rice 89p, cherry tomatoes 72p, onions. See, it is such a bargain. Fresh fruit, fresh fruit and veg is a lot cheaper in Aldi than it is and I've found anywhere else. I mean, I can't speak for Lidl's. Apparently Lidl's is really cheap as well, but my nearest is Aldi, so I go to Aldi. But yeah, this is basically my bill. 34.84. I got a bargain. So I'm going to put away my frozen stuff before they fall out. <laughs> And I'm going to start food propping and I might do a quick video on that as well and I'll show you what I actually make in the end because I'm going to make coconut coconut chickpea curry which is really simple and I made that in Jamaica and actually recorded it but it was really dark so I might do a quick run through version of that one but I'm also going to try a tofu tofu broccoli recipe which I found from YouTube from a website called Tasty They've actually got 6 million views or whatever, and um, they do cooking videos all the time. But I found a really good recipe, but I know we'll enjoy it because I love Chinese. And it's difficult when you're vegan, Chinese. But I found a fantastic recipe that I'm going to try, and I'm going to food prep it. So I've got my, to my firm tofu. I've got my broccoli, as you see from there. And I'm going to have some rice with it. So, yeah. So I'm going to get food prepping after I've had to sit down after that long shop. <laughs> and I'll probably show you that, alright? Speak to you later, beeps. And this was the bomb.com. Seriously, this was the bomb.com because I wasn't expecting that price at all. Anyway, I'll speak to you later. What's up, on, peeps? I finally finished my food prep. And I've got three or four meals here, actually. So I've got my... Oh, I've covered it up now, haven't I? I've got my stir fry there, the tofu and broccoli stir fry. It is fantastic, but I don't think that's enough by itself. So I I could add it to either my potatoes, and I've put my potatoes separately. This one I'm going to eat in a moment. So I've added my quinoa salad to it, and that is vegan cream cheese. And this one's actually not bad. So I use that, a vegan cream cheese, I'll mix it into my potato, add my salad on top, and that's a meal for me. I can also use my salad in the wraps with the cream cheese as a base. Or you could use guacamole, or you could use um, a tomato based product, what, what is it called? Tomato dip. I can't remember what it's called! <laughs> 
It's Spanish. Anyway, it will come back to me. But yeah, and that is my coconut chickpea curry with rice. And if you're interested, these containers actually came from Poundland. Um, there you go. So they're microwavable ones. And that's the square one. Where's the round one? And that's for the round one. So you can see the sizing of them as well. So there you go. That's the size that's 550. And that one is 650. So that's the square one. So I guess the square one fits more. But these are quite convenient, aren't they? So yeah, so I've got four different types of meals here. I haven't added in, added in breakfast. But um I've got uh, I've got, I've got some more quinoa. I'm going to make some breakfast with that. I might do that as a separate video, I don't know. But I actually have fruit in between as well. So yeah, so this is my food prep. Hope it's helpful. And this is a real life proof food, um, food prep. It's not like professional camera ready food prep where it's like, you know, they've taken five days and the food looks, looks so scrumptious. But this is actually really good food. And yeah, it tastes fantastic and I'd be happy to eat this instead and yeah there's more to follow as well because I'm gonna I actually spoke to my girlfriend today and we're gonna challenge ourselves to a weight loss challenge and this is part of my weight loss challenge basically and the one thing that will stop me from eating crap is the food prep I only have to do this once a week this will last me at least five six days I'm gonna pl I'm planning to have one cheat day either a Friday or a Saturday where, but it will still be vegan, but it'd just be junk vegan basically. But yeah, so till next time, because I'll be doing this all over again next Sunday, but some different meals, maybe some pasta, maybe some chilli I'm thinking about. I might do that next time for my meal prep, because I want to rotate it so I don't get bored. So yeah, so this is my meal prep, this is my food, and I'm going to eat that one now, because I'm hungry. So I'll speak to you later peeps. What I go on, peeps? What I go on? I thought I'd come to you today because I'm going to start a weight loss challenge and I want you to join in with me. A couple of me and my girlfriends have decided we need to lose some weight. And yeah, I'm a plus size girl, and which I'm also vegan. But being vegan helps, but I still got to exercise. I've still got to take care, think about what I'm eating. And I've still got to be motivated to actually lose the weight so I thought let's do it as a challenge and I'm thinking of doing it a month initially but carry on from there so why don't you join me and I'll show you what I've been up to and what I'm doing to prepare for my challenge I've actually started this is like a week late basically and I've done a food prep and I might do the show you the food prep um, for my challenge because one of the things that I tend to do because I live by myself at the moment um, I basically can't be bothered I'll do a takeaway, and you can get wonderful Indian takeaways around here. <laughs> Vegan, I might add. And um, so I've got to stop that. So I food prepped. I've also bought some new scales, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And basically, um, some bits and pieces that will help with actually my quest to lose weight. And I, I think Argos should bloody sponsor me, seriously. Because I live in Argos, and I think maybe I should just get affiliated to Argos because I buy so much of their stuff and it's so convenient because I could do the same day. I ordered it this morning, it's here, and it's like two o'clock in the afternoon. Please excuse the hat, but I'm going out in a minute because one of my Airbnb guests is actually doing um, a vintage fair that's in Dreamland. She's invited me over, so I'm going to go over there on the way to the shops. <laughs> 
might record that too. So come with me peeps and I'll show you what I've been up to and what I'm going to do to actually prepare for my weight loss challenge. Comment below also if you're trying to lose weight and what you're doing to actually do that because um, I need tips as just as well as everybody else. So and I'm of that age where I think the metabolism, even though they say it's not possible, your metabolism shows down. I'm in my 50s. So it's harder. I think it's harder to lose weight, but being vegan helps. And I've um, I've been ve vegan on and off for a couple of years now. And I went to Jamaica and <laughs> I ate some curry goat and rice and peas. And I was as sick as a dog for two days after that. And I decided, no, I'm going vegan. I'm going back to my vegan. Hence all the recipes. Hence all the ve um, recipes because I was vegan before. So I eat West Indian vegan as well as English vegan. So it'd be a mashup. It'd be a mix of between the two. And... Um, when I can get my West Indian stuff, I'll cook some West Indian. When I can't, then I won't. But I'm going off topic now. I'm going to show you what I got from Argos to help aid me in my quest to lose weight. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit that um, alert button to keep up with me because I'm planning, I'm trying to, and I'm planning to actually do a video. The weight loss videos post on a Monday even though I'm going to weigh myself on a Friday and then and today's Saturday actually so I'm going to weigh myself once I get the scales so I'm going to show you what I weigh and I don't want to but I'm going to <laughs> and um, I'm trying to do videos on a Wednesday and also a video on a Sunday Sundays it might be cooking videos I'm not sure mostly my cooking videos or if anything I've got to say I'll show you but I also do events around Margate because I love Margate and it's a seaside town I'm going to be um, doing an events bound market and the first one I'm kicking off since I've been back from Jamaica is the Vintage Market so I'm going to go and have a look at that now and you can come with me peeps so without further ado let's get on with what I really came here for <laughs> okay peeps so the first item I've actually got here that um, I've got from Argos is a Weight Watchers um, actual scales which I'm going to weigh myself and I'm not sure if they're talking scales but we will find out because I'm going to open the box now and I need to weigh myself so let's do that so this is my first item I've got like four items all together which is going to help me in in my quest to lose weight and it don't help that tomorrow's mother's day and my sons are taking me out for dinner uh, <laughs> but I will keep it vegan so hopefully that helps so anyway let's get this box open and see what these scales look like so these are the new scales and it says on here step on a scale treble zero to flash weight display then it says before use remove isolated tab from so which I did and also up here it says step on the scale it says ensure you are barefoot and remove socks and shoes so yeah so I'm going to step on it now and see what happens this is my new Weight Watchers scales so let's see what happens I'm going to step on it right now and see what weight it gives me no, that can't be right. 15 stone. 15 stone. No, that can't be right. 15 stone. 7 by 8. Well, that's what I'm saying, but I'm sure that's wrong. Because at my biggest, let's just zoom this back out again because I was just showing you my face. I'm sure those scales are wrong because at my biggest I was around about the 18 and a half stone and I hate to admit that but 15 stone I have dropped a dress size but I can't believe I've lost a stone in a matter of, of two months three stones in a matter of two months maybe I was I don't know I'm gonna set up the scales properly and try it again but it says you could just step on it and just weigh yourself and I've done it in stones and that says 15 stones and seven eighths so I was around about the 16 stone mark. Maybe I have because I have lost a dress size. I don't know. So I could have done. But that is my weight. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> and I'm going to make sure I set it up properly so that I can see what's going on. Anyway, so I've got three more items that I've actually bought to aid me in my actual food journey. Or my weight loss journey. And um, I think Argus should sponsor me. I'm going to say it again. They should sponsor me. <laughs> Because I buy so much stuff out from them. My bikes, I've bought half of my furniture 
in my flat is actually from Argos. Half of the stuff I've got is actually from Argos and um, it's ridiculous. But anyway, let's move on. What I got on peeps? I wasn't happy what the scale said last time. I knew it was wrong. So I've bought the scales in my bathroom and I think this is the actual correct weight. So that's 18 stones. Yeah, so that's the correct weight. So that's what we're working with, peeps. Speak to you later. What's up, one, peeps? Yes, I'm going to be a cliche vegan and buy a cop popcorn machine because it's a healthy snack. And to buy the kernels themselves are really cheap as opposed to buying pre-flavoured stuff and the stuff that's just full of sugar. So, yes, I bought a popcorn machine, popcorn maker, and I'm going to have some serious fun with it and make some of my own creations. But... I don't mind salty popcorn, so I could just shake some salt in it, some nutritional yeast, and Bob's your uncle. And I'd get my popcorn, I could sit there and watch it, as opposed to eating crisps that I used to. And this is a far more healthy option. So, yes, when I, I get a snack attack, I can just put some kernels in, this will pop. And, I mean, it takes a cop and you get a whole bowl load, apparently. So, yeah, so that's my next... Um, item so I've got two more items to go I'm not actually opening the packaging now but I will actually do a taste run a test run and see what it's like and I'll be back to you peeps not now though because I've got to go out <laughs> what I want peeps so my third item is a air fryer and this is the towel one and again it's from Argos it's apparently got three year guarantee on it, it says lose the fat and not the flavor I'm actually going to do a review on this because um, wouldn't it be great to actually have tasty fried food that's not actually covered in fat? So I will be doing some fried sweet potato fries. Uh, I've got carrot fries in my fridge actually, so I might test that out as well. And yeah, so let's see what it says on the box. This is all new to me. I've not even opened the box because I haven't got time at the moment. But um, it's a tower over 100 years. It's quite big. I didn't really expect it to be this big. 4.5 litre air fryer. What the hell? Okay, that's a lot. Um, yes, you guessed it, peeps. It's a rice cooker. And it's a really cheap rice cooker. I thought I'd test out this one before I, I go and invest in another one. I will use it till it dies its, its death. But I cook rice every single week. And I thought, do you know what? Just get a rice cooker. So this one is called Cookworks. It's the cheapest one I'll just do. It says metal bowl with non-stick coating. This item contains glass... Caution. But those are the four items that I so, actually bought. Um, I tried to do a weigh-in. I don't know if it's accurate because it's new scales, but I will fiddle with them. And if it's not accurate, I will come back and let you know next week. But I'm not going to do it so, again. So I will show you. It's 50 clip hits of what I do to keep fit and to exercise. Because the challenge is, is A, record your weight. And I've got a, a Facebook group called Valerie's Naturals. If you want to find it, please join us. Um... Give us your experiences. Let me know what's going on with you. And if you want to, you can put your weight loss from week to week. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm thinking about doing that on my group. If I, if everybody else joins in, I will. If not, then I won't. I'll just record it, and you can see it. But um, yeah, come and join me at Valerie's Naturals on Facebook, and. Um, also, in the week, come and join me also on Instagram because I do a lot of my recipes and what I eat in a week and whatever on Instagram. And you can see pictures of what I eat and everything. And what I actually get up to as well. So if I'm on my travels, you'll see all the pictures. I've got tons of pictures that, you know, <laughs> what I've been up to over the years. But yeah, I'm focusing on this bloody rice cooker, and I? When I should be focused on me. So, don't forget, peeps. Subscribe. <laughs> You've got to subscribe to keep up with me because I'm going to be doing a lot, especially when summer comes in. Margate in the summer is fantastic. And specifically, there's a soul weekender, there's a jazz weekender, there's a ska weekender. There's events going on in Dreamland. And it feels, I feel like the tourist board now. But in the summer, I always stay in Margate in the summer because it's fantastic. And I also have a lot of guests that are always coming for events and they stay here because it's so close to dreamland and it's so close to everything so um keep up with me peeps so don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the alert so you know when you get a video from me and keep up with me all right speak to you later peeps i'm gone <laughs>
And not everybody I go like we Still we iry Cause me no love likes mm. Me no dance all style And not everybody I go like